Hello truckers! Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. We are headed up, headed to pick up a load here. As you can probably tell by the GPS. And it's going to be a heavy load. Uh, yes please. If I can remember what buttons to hit. So, we're in Palm Coast, Florida, and we're going to be heading up to uh, Columbia, South Carolina. With this right here. A scraper, 40 ton. Guess we'll take that job, please. Alrighty here. I want to do a couple things before we get hooked up. First, we'll get in position. Assume the position. So before I hook up, I probably want to put down my third wheel, the third axle. Sometimes the third axle does not actually help, oddly enough. So we will see here. Okay, let's put on the beacons. Let's see in the bottom corner, it's only a 450 mile trip, so it's not too far. Really, for this truck, 40 tons is not that heavy. It's just a matter of making the corners right. I did remember to take off the frost mod. I did have a ATS video out a couple weeks ago, and I was running with a frost mod. When you're down in Florida and you got frost, it does happen, but. You guys stop and let me out. Spanx. It was the beacons. Luckily there's no train coming. So yeah, I had an ATS video maybe a week, or maybe two weeks ago at this point. So, I'm going to be rusty again. But it just caught my attention because there was an update to ATS today. I don't know what it was for. I didn't see no patch notes or anything like that. So, I'm not quite sure. Uh, pass the line. You're not going to give me a ticket for going across the line, are you? Nope. So, I was just reading trying to find out what the update was for today. I didn't see nothing really about it. Then I said, hey, you know what? I feel like uh, playing a little ATS tonight. So here we are. I keep reading the blogs about the Oregon map. So when that comes out, I probably will be... You're just going to sit there, fella? You better. when the Oregon map comes out I'll be uh, jumping on this ASAP let me adjust the GPS depth there I can never find the right adjustment on the GPS for scale hopefully I finish read that bridge I did never know when you're uh, right on a modded map you're going to fit under certain bridges with certain trailers. Let's 
Cindy is supposed to keep track of that stuff, but... She's supposed to keep track of her logbook and all that wonderful stuff. I never see her doing anything over there. She just rides along and enjoys the view, I guess. I usually don't like taking the, the bigger trailers too much because the fun part for me actually is when I get to the destination and I have to park the trailer. And with these big trailers like this, you usually just pull into the parking area and just have to pull straight ahead. Same with the double trailers and triple trailers if you ever get lucky enough to see one. It's really just a matter of pulling in and straight ahead and you're parked. But the good news is the sun is out to start with. It is five o'clock in the evening so will be dark by the time we get to our destination. I do like uh, driving on the coast to coast map in the Ford area the de uh, where the moderators have done a really nice job in this section. But since the new patch of Coast to Coast I have yet to be through the Georgia area, Alabama area, and a lot of the northern Texas, Oklahoma area as well. I think I touched on in my last uh, ATS video how there are a lot of people working on the Coast to Coast map, Coast to Coast map to make it more realistic. It certainly has come a long ways in the two years now. It's been two years since it's been out. Really, you're going to make me uh, get in a very fast lane, aren't you? I don't feel like slowing down with this much weight behind me. real life I'd be going this fast with 40 tons behind me but seriously oh god let me over I'll slide it behind this bus never fail you're, you're always over, way in the left hand lane, that's when you get pulled over to the way station. Hello fellas, I'm, I'm a little fat. Sixty-three tons. Thank you. Have a safe journey. Journey. One thing I do notice that they did with the traffic is when you come out like waste stations or an on ramp. Most of the time there's no traffic coming. It used to be you had to wait for the line of traffic that would come. It almost seems like it was programmed to not activate the traffic until you come out and there's a line of cars that used to come off. Alright, let me get in this lane here in the middle. George is going to make me stop somewhere.
think I did any damage to the trailer cutting over that much. No. Don't worry about the truck damage, that's mostly tire wear. But one thing about taking these heavy loads like this, it will uh, wear pretty heavily on your chassis and engine. Last I checked, the chassis engine were somewhere like about four or five percent. budget will go over six million dollars by the time I get to it's Columbia we're going to right yeah Columbia we do have a full staff of drivers like 255 of them probably 150 are not well rated but over time they'll increase rating and bring in more revenue not like it matters too much. I think that's something they could add add to trucking simulators, like have like goals for your company because really there are no goals for your company. on this trucker though. Coming up on the state line. Almost in South Carolina already. South Carolina. Nice to see you again. Apparently there's no trees in South Carolina.
at least we're able to stick, stay in 12th gear all the way up this slight incline. Not that shifting would be a big problem. Speed limit's still 70. Let's get in all these guys rather quick. Looks like a lot of my drivers can't find jobs. But the same thing like last uh, episode of Pro VTS, there was a small patch update. And sometimes I'll, I think that confuses the drivers. They always want to head back to the home garage for some reason. miles to go so we're cruising right along what's this job pay anyways 22 grand so that's not bad for a short journey anyways I do love ATS for the reason that you can just, well for me anyways, I can just jump in the game and for some reasons it's very relaxing. Which is odd, I mean who would have thought that just jumping in a, in a truck and simulating driving could be relaxing. Of course, the steering wheel does make it a lot easier to drive. Right, Cindy? Yep. Who has the blink light? I think that's one of those tankers. Well, I got more blinker and blinking lights than you do, fella.
I pour sparkly. Looks like our exit might be coming up. So we shall get over in the right hand lane. I just gotta remember I got 40 tons behind me. 40 tons of fun! Get my feet back on the pedals. Joint cruise control all those many miles. shift down to 10th gear. I'm hogging all the lanes so no one come up, come up on the left hand side of me. People will be upset if I put the high beams on. Of course, I got a whole bunch of halogen lights that come on on top of the truck as well when the high beams come on. But it gives you a better view of where we are. It gives me a better view as well. So we'll be there in no time. So I'm not going to bother trying to pass this line that I'm catching. Be pressing the clutch and we'll just coast for a while. No sense of getting in the left hand lane when I may have to turn off. I don't know which way I'm turning off yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is everyone slowing down so much? GPS is doing figure eights up there, so we'll see when we get closer to town. Bush. Luckily no cars were coming up, I just squeezed over. Do we 
meter high beams anymore. Not so much. Oh, I kind of cringe every time I go underneath one of these overpasses on a modded map. Hello, lag. Well, load in. Thank you. Uh, apparently I'm turning left here. Hope so, because this is not a trailer you can just, you know, turn around somewhere. Uh, let's do this. This might help a little bit. There, it looks like the lag of stop in the city has loaded it. No one coming. Turn right on red. Yes, please. Wide right on red. Looks like the cat dealer is up on the left hand side up here. Oh, whoa, 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 that's where they want us to go in. Oh, and I gotta back up one of these things. Hey, there was a vehicle behind me. How you doing? <laughs> uh, that was not good. I wasn't paying attention. How much can we push you? Are you out of the way yet? Alright, I think I can squeeze in now. I'm sure it's just a small scratch. fun getting in this gate, I'll tell you that much. Hug this fence over here. No, nope. it's gonna squeeze and scratch the... Come on. Let me put it down in second gear here. There we go. We're through. I don't think that hurt the trailer at all. No, 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 no. Because I'm not going to back it up again. Excelente. You didn't see that car out front, did you? Alright, how much did it hurt the, the engine? Eh, not much. Transmission, chassis, that's what it usually hurts. I don't know how it hurts the cabin by driving. Damage truck, yeah, we're not going to do that yet either. I, I think I've had this up to 40% before. Usually you don't get the service where the engine starts quitting on you unless it's the engine transmission or something like that. I think. Screw it up. Uh, let's see. Where's there a good place to park in Columbia? Oh, I got a garage here. Yeah, we'll go there and gas up. And park it till the next one. Free as the wind.
I also gotta remember to lift up the third axle. Uh, and the trailer's gone. Make sure that third axle goes up. There she is. We'll leave the beacons on until we finish backing up. Yeah, my parking brake's on. That would help. Whoops. Taking us with that bulldozer. That's not good on the cabin of the truck. We'll give the truck a once over once we get back to the garage. Uh, turn the beacons off. Drying the gears because I wasn't uh, pressing the clutch when I shifted. Uh, did it hurt the fender? Fender looks fine. You got a little farmer's market right outside the garage here. I have to pick up some supplies before the next uh, trip we take. Yeah, we'll drive through. Got a nice garage, but too bad you can't fix your truck up or anything like that. Really don't need the fuel too much, but you know, it's always cheaper to gas up at your own garage. Park plague, engine. Uh, Cindy, you can go to bed any time you want. Unless you're a night owl like myself. I can park here if I want to. I'm the owner. Park a brake. Engine off. And that'll do it for that trip, folks. So hope you didn't mind the little journey from uh, where was it? Palm Palm Coast, Florida. I always want to say Palm Beach. Great, right, now I gotta double check where we were. Is it Palm Coast or Palm Beach? Uh, if I can remember how to move the map. Palm Coast. So we went to Palm Coast right up I-95. Now we're in Columbia. Let's see if there's possible jobs for you out here. I don't, I don't want to go back to Florida. Florida, Florida. There's something to L, uh, yeah, LA. <laughs> That's a long trip. I've done that before on here, though. Frozen vegetables to, from Columbia to Phoenix, Arizona. How many miles is that? Almost two two thousand miles. Yeah, I don't think so. But we'll f I'll figure out something for the next trip. So if we look at the map, uh, you can see Alabama was all done over. I haven't been up there since the update. And you can kind of see how, how much work has been put into northern Texas, and Oklahoma, and parts of Kansas. Someone's been working on Colorado. Not much work done up here, obviously, because it looks like SCS is going to be doing... I'm going to assume... We know Oregon, Oregon is the next map. I'm going to assume Washington will come after that. But I know someone has been... I, I heard of one rumbling about a couple months ago that someone may start working in the Northeast area. But I can't confirm that or anything like that. So, but that's going to do it today for ATS. 
hopefully you guys enjoy the episode. And we will see you on the next journey. Don't know where or what we'll be taking. But I'll see you then. So until next time, have a good one.